What's up guys, Chaco Maltoid here. We have another episode of fixing this uh, dryer over here. The drum is not working, it's not turning, but all motors are running. If you uh, turn the drum itself, you help to turn it, it will turn. So now the fixing of that is to check all this uh, fully down over here, all this uh, roller over here this thing it, it kind of a uh, really hard right now so we need to put some uh wd-40 to save this dryer but this dryer is still working motor still running so right now we're going to only to check this thing here because a little bit tight so maybe the grease is already uh been worn out so we need to uh put some wd-40 and then we'll see it is going to turn the drum because like i said the motor is kicking but it's not turning the drum and then if you help the drum to turn it it will turn so right now we need to check that and put some wd-40 loosen it everything the debris if you look at this thing here so bad so but it's still working so what we're going to do is to fix that all right guys we just uh spray this with wd-40 right here as you can see it's turning really good now before it's not turning it's really hard so that's why the drum it doesn't work but this motor still keep running they're all still running so all good so we now we're gonna put it back all the uh parts and then we'll try it and then we'll see about that too and this thing too how you can see that it's beating up for a period of time the whirlpool it's been really good uh uh you know appliances that you can have better than ge on this thing because this whirlpool they've been lived for like a hundred years the name of it but like i said this whirlpool has been here for 15 years so it's still working so like i said i just gonna keep it running i just want to make this thing work out so that's what i'm going to do all right guys we already put it back everything put the door switch put the drum we'll see if it's gonna turn because we just put wd-40 on the uh pulley right there so right now we need to uh plug it in see see how old is the thing it's really old you know so and it's already rusty than everything now we're gonna try that and let's see if it's going to turn yeah nope it's not turning at all as you can hear that there yeah so but if you help this one will uh to to uh turn it it will turn so you see that yeah oh, turn yeah you just need you just need a little bit help so this is need to be probably to replace the roller on the bottom so you can see that it's wobbling so that's a, that's a bad all right we'll see if the motor is running okay that's a motor problem we have a problem on the motor yep all right motor is running really good it's very soft there as you can see but now i can see that there's something uh came off down over here as you can see this wire here right there that uh, it just snap here on the other connection there so now i need to weld that thing so i need to get my uh, torch and weld it at this thing and i think this is the uh, control on here to go all the way down here to control over by the switch on the uh, panel right there so that one is came off so that's why it's not turning so yeah we'll see that and let's start that all right guys before you solder this thing you need to burn this thing you see those uh brown color here it, that is a coated so you need to burn that thing because this uh they call this a uh, magnetic wire before you go into solder that you need to break, burn that first make it sure you're gonna burn this thing out there, and then it will come off the uh, plastic coated all right guys we already soldered that right there 
it's already connected see in the blue color right there that's the connection always oh, came out so now we need to see that uh it's going to function this thing if it's going to turn all right so we plug it in we already soldered that so now we need to check we turn it on there you go now it's running okay Open the door because there's a door switch here. There you go. And then we can shut it off. And turn it on again. Alright. So now that is working, everything is good. Alright, this motor is working. So as you can see, if we turn it on, there. We open the door. So that's the one is kicking, and then uh, we turn it on again. There, okay, it's kicked back. There you go. Yep, everything is working. All right, guys, we already put it back. Everything. So everything is set. We put the uh, door switch. So now we're going to uh, plug it in. So when you have a problem like that, maybe. When this thing is not working, it's not turning, and you know if, if the uh, element is working and then it's not turning, it could be possible of the motor belt or the belt tensioner or roller on the side there, the rubber roller. So that's why all this you need to see and check them. If you, the motor is running and it's not kicking, something wrong in there, you know, just like the one that I showed to you. And then now we're going to try it here. All right, guys, the moment of truth, now we're gonna turn it on. There you go, and it's running again. So this dryer here has been here for 15 years. This still keep working. Like I said, Whirlpool branded is really good. It was awesome. Yeah, because I've seen them all the time. Older, older Whirlpool. I saw them all the time. So yeah, there you go. It's working perfect. All right, guys, so that's how you fix your dryer. If you have something wrong, you came up with that instead of buying it. You know, if you can still save it, you know, just do it that way. Just get the parts or if you, you if you don't need to replace the parts, if you know how can to troubleshoot it, do it to troubleshoot it. All right, guys, this is Jacob Trade. Thank you again for watching. You have a nice day and you have a blessed day. Thank you. Bye.